BBC News. Well, with me is Rana Rahimpour from the BBC's Persian service. And Rana, what's the latest? Uh, the number of dead people has now rise to 34. That is confirmed. 850 people have been injured, uh, but most of them have been treated at the scene and about seven, uh, 100 of them have been taken to hospital. Uh, the governor of, of Boucher says that uh, two villages have been damaged up to 80 percent and there are also unconfirmed reports that one, one village has completely been destroyed. Uh, and uh, Iran has announced three days of mourning and both the Supreme Leader and the President sent uh, condolences and messages. And this came, it was very close really to the country's nuclear power station and this on a day when the country was celebrating its nuclear program. Exactly and there were initial concerns about the nuclear plant in Boucher but then immediately they said that because it was quite far from the center of the earthquake they said that uh, it wasn't affected by the earthquake but it was on the day that uh, President Ahmadinejad inaugurated a number of nuclear projects and Iran was trying to show that despite all the pressure they are developing their nuclear program. So there'll be more uranium enrichment projects or, or areas where uh, uranium processing can take place. Isn't that a concern given seismic activity or is it the sort of concern that the authorities just wouldn't talk about even if it was there? Well, the concerns ha ha has always been there but they try to study all the areas before they start projects like those. But uh, experts that I've been speaking to uh, today, uh, they had doubts about these projects in th themselves. They said that they look like cosmetic uh, new projects basically changing the numbers saying that oh this is a new project we are inaugurating and it's you it, it seems like a response to the failure of the talks in Almaty, Almaty and if the talks last week had been successful probably Iran wouldn't have inaugurated any of these projects and just briefly it's it's nighttime now in Iran so I suppose any more rescue efforts any more details will come through in a few hours time now exactly all the Iranian officials say that the rescue work is continuing uh, probably the numbers will be much higher than this because it has happened in a very vast area about 20 villages have been affected and many of them are still under rubbles so I think the exact figure will be much higher than this. Rana Rahimpour, thank you very much for coming in.